supersonic man out of you. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you wanna have a good time, just give me a call. Don't stop me now. Try to have a good time. Don't stop me yes, now. Yes, I'm having a good time. I don't wanna stop at all.
possible so here we go first down and 10 for the Raiders at midfield Shaw is taken down immediately by a wall of Bulldogs he's split left Franklin in the back Merriweather back to pass again he has an open receiver in Bispoon he catches it for a first down down to the 50 yard line he split right and Merriweather quickly back to pass on the keeper he goes up through the middle Still on his feet, churning, and he takes it past the original line of scrimmage. Will be operating from the gun. 
He has five wide receivers. Merriweather rolls to his left. He has some open field to run, but he throws the ball caught by Vince Boone for the first down from the gun with five wide receivers. Low snap. Merriweather pulling to his right. Throws it to Orso. He caught it. And it's another first down, West Covina. Merriweather on the keeper. He turns forward. He is bubbles the ball, but it's ruled a touchdown. So you have Blasco being one of the receivers back for Marquise. Roland Hyde. Nice kick by Marquise. It's taken out about the four-yard line. Hit hard by the dogs. Nash Diaz, Randon Orso, Ryan Turan. Some of the dogs there down on the play. Shaw with a gift to Blasco. He's met behind the line of scrimmage by a wall of Bulldogs. He's up for the season November the 12th against Diamond Bar. Miguel Merriweather now back to pass. He throws it in. It's caught. Vince Boone has some open field. He's got one man to beat. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35-yard line of Roland High. Franklin, the lone setback. And it's Merriweather on the keeper. He runs through the center. He is still on his feet. Keeps it churning for the first down. Boone goes in motion. Merriweather on the keeper. He lunges forward. Touchdown, West Covina. Hernandez goes in motion. The give is to Rivas. He blasts forward for a gain of about two yards. Walls comes up with the football, and they have the turnover. Merriweather with four spread to his left and right. The give is to Franklin. He goes forward. He has some open field. He's finally brought down. Help keep them within this game, and it's all tied up at 14. Merriweather now back to pass. He's looking to his right. He has Orso open. He caught it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And Annette with a kick. Probably his best looking kick of the night. It will be taken right at the goal. Smith still is on his feet. He's turning his way. He has one man to beat. He's got some open field. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, West Covina. Miguel back to pass once again. Has nobody open. Has to scramble his way. Looks downfield. It is caught. Vince Boone has the ball past the first down marker. And it's first down and 10. It remains a fourth and goal situation. The Bulldogs will try for the touchdown. The give is to Franklin. He goes forward. Touchdown, Bulldogs. We'll take it first down and 10 at their own 20, 30 seconds left to play here in the third. And up the middle to Blasco, and he's met Nash Diaz, Steve Harold, Robbie Walls on the play for the Dogs. Merriweather back to pass, has Orso open, but the ball goes to Smith. He catches it for the first down. Bulldogs now with a third and ten situation. Let's see if they can come up with a conversion. Merriweather back to pass. Has an open receiver. Caught by Orso for the first down. Here we go. Third and five for Roland High. Shaw with the give to Hernandez. He is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Roland Raiders with a fourth and six. I'm wondering if the Raiders are going to try a long count and try to get the Bulldogs to jump off sides. Let's see what they do here. And Shaw is back to pass. He rolls left. He finds himself in trouble. Has no place to go. He's brought down. It is intercepted. Anthony Franklin goes in for the touchdown. With Blasco and Rebus in the backfield. Rivera back to pass again, looking downfield. He's brought down. Oh, babe. Rivera is brought down. Keith Schlonick. Oh, man, what a hit. So now a fourth and 14. Shaw is back onto the field with 145 left to play. Shaw back to pass, looks downfield, throws, picked off. Anthony Franklin with the interception. And I think that will do it. 
two, one, zero. And the fat lady begins to, to sing. This one is over, baby. The West Covina Bulldogs with the big upset. The Roland Raiders are now going to drop to a six and one record. The Bulldogs coming up to a five, one and one record. This really helps the Bulldogs get on track and make the bid for a Sierra League title. So the dogs down on the field right now giving congratulations to the Rolling Raiders for a very tough ball game. And the Bulldogs with a big one. Head coach Bob Pound, they've got to be very happy with this one.
committed no crime and bad mistakes. I've made a few. I've had my share. Nice boo, Dan Boone will take it at about his own five yard line. Looks for a wall of blockers, has an open field. He has nothing but green. He's gonna go all the way. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Gibson goes in motion. Legata with a pitch to lead. He fumbles the football and the Bulldogs have it. Bassard goes in motion and the give is to Lee. He's still on his feet. Vincent Boone with a great tackle. And it's a fake pass. There's a man open, intercepted. Robbie Walls intercepts for West Covina. 33 seconds left in counting here in the first quarter. Miguel Merriweather back to pass, looking long. Has a man open. Lee catches it this time. He has an open field at the 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, West Covina. They got it now with the information. Lee is looking to pass the ball. He stumbles, and he's still on his feet. Finally brought down. Ryan Duran and Legata 
is dropping back. No, it's a draw play, and it does not fool the Bulldogs. The give was to Jerome Lee. He's met by a wall of Bulldogs there. Once again, the setbacks. Brossard in motion. It looks like a reverse to Brossard. He's met behind the line of scrimmage. When Boone will be spread to the right. And the dogs with their own reverse. Vincent Boone on the carry. He has some open field. Turns it up. Has some green. He's brought down at the 42-yard line of Royal. High snap. Merriweather steps back. Has an open receiver. Caught. Brandon Orso with a great reception. But Jermaine Smith splits right. The give is to Lee. Fake reverse. Lee is brought down immediately. Steen. The Highlanders really need this one. Jerome Lee with the pitch to his left. He is rolling and brought down. Brandon Orso with a great tackle. Before the half expires, no, the give is to Robbie Wallace. He bursts his way forward, keeps the feet turning, gets the first down. The ball is now taken down to the 50-yard line. Brandon Orso, one reception for 10. Leroy Lee with the big reception, one pass, one catch reception, that is, for a total of 70 yards and one touchdown for the second half of play. Nice boot by Marquise. Broussard takes it at about the one yard line. He's gonna bring it out. And he's met there by Hector Perez of what? Running the ball in the first half with not much success. The give it to Lee, he's met just about at the line of scrimmage. And it looks like a quarterback draw. He is met though. At about the line of scrimmage, Khalil Viamore will lead Ibrahim with one lone setback. He drops back pass, looks to his right. It is caught, but brought down immediately at the line of scrimmage. Irving Mahoney have kind of switched back and forth between will lead Ibrahim and Miguel Mary with a low snap. It is blocked, but Merriweather comes up with his own ball. He's going to get a first down still on his feet. Takes it to the 50-45 where he's rushed out of bounds. What a play. Merriweather back pass, quick play to Vince Boone. He catches it and pulls his way forward for the first down. Merriweather with the dogs in the eye formation. Play action, looking downfield. The ball is to Robbie Walls. He takes it again for the first down. But of course, they still have to win this one to get to that point. Miguel Merriweather now back to pass, looks to his right. It is caught. Brad Smith. So Franklin now pulls forward for the touchdown. West Covina. Anthony Franklin, lone setback. Miguel Merriweather on the quarterback draw. Has a little bit of open field to his left. He pulls forward, continues on his feet for the first down. He's off the grass there. I'm sure that tastes great. Merriweather back to pass. He is hotly pursued, but dumps it off to Franklin. He has some open field behind his blockers now. Pulls his way forward for the first down. We got it now with Reddington and Lee. Lee with the carry now. He takes the ball forward for about a yard scrimmage. He is looking to pass. Drops back. Looks long. It is picked off. Miguel Merriweather intercepts the ball. Now a third and 11 situation. It's the quarterback keeper. Miguel Merriweather has some open field. He takes it forward. He is still on his feet. Takes the ball to the 46-yard line for the first down. Merriweather now back to pass. Looking downfield for Vince Boone. He catches the ball. He has open field. He's going all the way. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Ball game. But they're trying to get it done now. The guy now looks to his left. Ball is picked off. Picked off by Leroy Lee. Still on his feet. And he's taken out of bounds at the 35. Bunks. Merriweather with the pitch back to Franklin. He sweeps to the left. He keeps his feet going. Has the first down, but what happens here? Third down and 20. Merriweather back to pass, looking downfield. Has Orso. He catches the ball. Still on his feet. Gets the first down. And he's finally brought down at the 48. Or that it's probably... Be a little bit too, too little too late. And Lagana is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Keith Shonek. The first obstacle. And no seconds left. That is it. The fat lady sings. This one is over, baby. So now the Bulldogs will move on to the second round of CIF Division playoff. No time for less. I've laid the plans. Now lay the chance here in my hands. Give me one moment in time. When I'm more than I thought I could be. 
West Covina Bulldogs have had a season to remember, and here to talk to us about that is head coach Bob Mount. Bob, thanks for being with us this evening. Uh, tell us a little bit about this team. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of the season. Your, your team came off a 2-7-1 and one season last year and was 0-5 and five in league. What were your expectations coming into this year? Uh, in our last game against Baldwin Park of the 92 season, we started uh, out of the 11 starters, nine of them were juniors. And we knew that if those kids were serious about the 93 season and got busy in the weight room and did a great job in preparing for the season, that we would be competitive. Uh, to win the league championship and to get this far in the playoffs as we did this year, I think, was just icing on the cake. We knew, though, that we were going to have a good team coming back. And you had really some mountains to climb because I, I was looking at your schedule today and I noticed that seven out of ten schools that you played all made it to CIF playoff, to playoff rounds. Yeah, we felt, especially with our preseason, that we were, in all intents and purposes, playing CIF caliber football teams. So Glendora and Los Altos and those kinds of teams traditionally have great programs. And to be competitive against those guys, we felt were just good preparation for what we'd see in the Sierra League and then eventually in the playoffs. What were the strengths of this team that you feel helped get you to the CIF playoffs? Probably the, the biggest thing would be, and maybe the most intangible of all qualities, was the heart that the kids had. Uh, nine of our players went both ways. And uh, I think the good Lord kept them from injury. But the, the amazing thing to me was in the fourth quarter, our kids were better, stronger than the opponents that we had, who oftentimes were only going one way. And I think just our endurance, and but that thing called heart, <laughs> that uh, nobody can really define is what characterizes this team. You, know, you mentioned something that I really, uh, in reflection, find it amazing that you, your team did not sustain any major injuries this year. We lost Irving Mahoney in the Glendora game to a broken wrist. Uh, Brandon Orso had to sit out the Diamond Bar game with a bad back, but he was back the next week, and Mahoney was back for the Diamond Bar game and helped us in the playoffs. And Yeah, we were very fortunate this year. Uh, and again, I think the good Lord forgave us an injury-free season, and uh, it could have devastated us. We had 28 guys that played, and uh, it, it could have riddled us, but it didn't. And again, like I said, we were stronger oftentimes in the fourth quarter. Let's talk about some of your key players, and I think the first one that comes to mind is Miguel Merriweather. Have you ever coached a a player of this caliber before? Yeah, well, I wish I could take credit for his talent. I can't. He's just a phenomenally gifted athlete. Uh, we're kind of going over last year's stats. Last year, was, he threw for 44%. This year, it was 58% on his completion record. Uh, he rushed for over 1,000 yards. Uh, I think that's a testimony to the gift that he has as an athlete. But the other side of that is we had a great offensive line. And they affectionately named themselves the Hogs, and they were opening up some good holes for him and Anthony Franklin to run through. So it wasn't just the Merriweather show, as gifted as he was. He had some good blocking up front. Who would you say also contributed to your success? Uh, well, we had two guys that earned postseason recognition. I mean, Miguel was MVP of our Sierra League. The other guy that uh, I think most coaches had uh, the utmost respect for was Robbie Walls. He was Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, the guy never came off the field. I'd look at him sometimes in the fourth quarter, and he'd just I think, how is that guy standing up? And yet, down after down, he'd play his heart out, and there was just no quit in him. And I think he's a testimony to what this team was all about this year. Is there one game this season that really stands out in your mind as being really your best, something you really look back on and, and really and relish? A couple of games, I think. I, I don't know if I could pick one out. I, probably the game, though, that was a turning point to our season was our second one against Los Altos. Our seniors had never beat Los Altos through Junior All-American and then the lower division program. That win gave them the confidence to go on and, and play as well as we did the rest of the year. Uh, it meant a, a whole lot to the kids. And as we were coming home on the bus, I sensed at that time that these kids were going to have a great year. Uh, probably the next most exciting game was the Diamond Bar game. Everything's on the line, league championship, all that we tried to do this year, the affirmation of what the program is all about the direction we're heading and to come out with a 35-33 thriller uh, was just again another phenomenal performance by our kids. Uh, two things real quickly because we're kind of running short on time here. Uh, what do you expect for next year? I know you're losing about 15 starters or 15 seniors you mentioned to me before the show. What do you expect for next year's team? We've got a good nucleus of guys coming back. Uh, I was in the weight room today and there's a handful of kids that are already getting ready for next year. We've got to get our kids bigger and stronger. We've got to carry on the tradition that this group of seniors has established. The feelings there, uh, the belief and the confidence is there. We just need to get the kids keep going and keep at it and carry on what started this year. 
What's one thing you'll cherish the most about this season? When I think back to our senior class and all that they did, uh, their commitment, their hard work, their heart and their courage, I think those qualities will stand out heads and above what we did on the one loss record because it's a testimony of those kids and their character. And that's hopefully what we're teaching our kids when all is said and done, too, that they take those lessons away from the field with them. Coach, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you. Head coach Bob Mount has been our special guest this evening. That'll take care of sports. Jim, back to you. All right. Thank you, JR. And they burst apart with sweet memories Sweet memories Of holding hands and red bouquets And twilights trimmed in purple haze And laughing eyes and simple ways And quiet nights and gentle days with you Memories 
just between the pages of my mind Memories sweeten through the ages just like wine Memories Memories Of holding hands and red bouquets And twilights trimmed in purple haze And laughing eyes and simple ways And quiet nights and gentle days with you Memories 